Now, TikTok, the popular social media app, is being sued by the US state of Indiana. The firm is being accused of failing to safeguard young people and their privacy. TikTok responded saying it had the correct policies in place and was confident that it could satisfy US national security concerns. Uh, well, let's speak to Samira, who's standing by in New York. Uh, Samira, good to see you. Um, what's going on here? So the state of Indiana is saying actually two things. One, it's saying that, look, the kinds of content that TikTok is being made available and that is being pushed onto younger audiences is actually not very appropriate. And they cited things like that, you know, uh, videos that are encouraging eating disorders or videos that are showing, you know, sexually explicit content. Now, remember, when you download TikTok, it does say that it is appropriate for audiences is 13 years and older but what what the state of indiana is saying was well actually that's just not true the other part of this lawsuit is that what they're saying is that they are not doing or tiktok is not doing enough to safeguard uh, people's information that there of course there's this overarching concern about how much american data is being sent to china which is of course the owners of tiktok and that is something that a lot of u.s states are sharing in terms of concerns yeah and smear briefly for us uh, tiktok not the first it probably be, won't be the last to be accused of not having correct policies in place i mean facebook instagram all of those firms meta of course their owner accused of similar things and it's it really underlines the difficulty that these platforms have in policing the content. Yes, it does. I think the worry, however, with TikTok is because of who the owners are. The fact that it is a Chinese-owned company gives a lot of people in the United States quite a bit of pause. So, in fact, if you look at you know several different U.S. states, South Dakota, um, Maryland, Nebraska, South Carolina, these states have either banned TikTok when it comes to government agencies or people that work in government or civil servants from using this on any government or work-related uh, devices. And they've also been moving to try and limit, um, you know, how much this is being allowed to be used in, in, in the states themselves. Um, Samira, good stuff. Thank you for that update. Uh, really interesting to see how all of that will play out as well, isn't it? Uh, uh, Samira there, live for us in New York.